leave Kate Smith alone. They're tearing down statues of American singers now. Leave Kate Smith alone. We're not going to judge her by today's standards. Hey you guys, it's Michael from The Loftus Party here with an insane video. We've lost our collective minds. Thanks for checking out the channel. Hit subscribe, hit like, ring the bell button, you won't miss a video. This one really gets under my skin. This one drives me crazy. Kate Smith, an American singer, uh, recorded this song, God Bless America. Everyone loves this song. They play it at Yankees games. They play it at Philadelphia Flyers games. It's like the poor man's national anthem. God, God bless America. <laughs> this is a good thing. And actually, fun to know fact, it was written by an immigrant. Irving Berlin came to this country with nothing but a dream and, and, and loved it enough to write songs like God Bless America. So it's a wonderful rendition. Everybody loves it. We all enjoy it, but now it's too much. It's too much. We gotta tear down the statue. We gotta cover the statue of Kate Smith because someone discovered back in the 1930s, she was part of a Broadway review. Satire, not to be meant, not to be taken seriously. It's satire, you guys. She sang a song that was racially insensitive. Okay, so that ruins her whole career? That ruins everything wonderful she's ever done? We're talking about a chick who raised a lot of money, $600 million in war bonds This she, she sold. Historians say no one else came close. This is money she raised to fight Hitler, to end evil. She raised $600 million. That's crazy. So you're just going to discount that now because one time, once upon a time, she wrote a song that nobody even remembered except for some dork sitting in front of his computer? That's so offensive we have to throw her... I'm done with it. I'm done playing this game of like judging people uh, from the past by today's standards. And what I think we should do is let's just get ridiculous with it. Let's let's get rid of everybody. Seriously, let, let, let's go back to uh, Lyndon Johnson. I know he was uh, dropping N-bombs left and right when he was sitting in the White House. I want his name off of every building. I don't want to see a statue. I don't want to see him again in my lifetime. He makes me sad because he was a mean man. And you know what? Let's get rid of John F. Kennedy. Let's get rid of him too. He fought in World War II. Yeah, he fought against the Germans and the Nazis, so I'm sure he, he had some uh, little slips of the tongue that are uh, racially insensitive to those poor people. So let's get rid of everything with Kennedy's name on it. Let's get him off the money. Let's, get, let's rename the Kennedy Space Center. Find a new one. He's not a hero anymore, right? Right? Are we going to use your standards? Let's get rid of Eisenhower. Well, they say he was a baddie. Oh, FDR, Franklin Roosevelt. He put the Japanese in internment camps. That wasn't very nice. Let's get rid of him. While we're at it, let's just clear the deck of Mount Rushmore. I think we can find something in all of their past. Do you see where I'm going here? The founding fathers were slave owners. Get rid of that. They didn't do anything good, like completely reinvent the way governments work and republics work so that little people can have a chance. They didn't do something like all men are created equal. They didn't do that. Right? So let's judge everyone's by today's standards. And I'm gonna find someone you like, right? I'm gonna find uh, your hero. You show me someone you like. No one's perfect, okay? You, find, you show me someone that you like, I'll find a way to rip them down. Oh, and there you have it. And we'll just be a nation with no heroes and no statues and no fond memories, and no one will ever do anything that's really good because there's a little nugget of evil in everybody. You guys, this is ridiculous. God bless America. I'm glad we can have these arguments. I'm glad we can have these fights, but for real, God bless America. It's worth saving. And if we're gonna run around tearing down statues, judging people who have been dead for hundreds of years by today's standards, we don't have a chance. If you're that triggered by a, cup, a, a statue of Kate Smith, just move. You need to go somewhere. You can't handle it. Do you drive a car? Do you see people? How do you interact with the public? If Kate Smith is too much, I'm so mad. Show me a hero, I'll rip him down.